Uh, good morning everybody and uh, happy new year. Um, short introduction today. I'm up on Bleaklow with Leia. We've come up today to photograph mountain hares. The weather conditions aren't brilliant. It's really, really windy. I'm down actually at Doctor's Gate where we park now, which is in a bit of a, a gully. And it looks like we've got some bad weather blowing in as well. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to try and get on the top now. Uh, Leia's just in front of me. And uh, we'll tr try and find these hares. And then obviously I'll get back to you when they, we find them. And I'll record when I can record, when I can get out of the wind. But yeah, it is fiercely windy today. Um, just hope we can find these hares. I'll catch you later. Right, so where is Bleaklow? Well, if we take a look at Google Maps here, you've got Sheffield and Manchester and trapped in between is the Peak District. So if we zoom in a little bit closer, here you've got the A57, which runs from Sheffield across to Manchester. And this here is the Lady Bower Reservoir. So if you want to travel to this site, what you need to do is get on the A57, up the Snake Pass Road, which uh, most people know it as the Snake Pass rather than Snake Road. And as you get to the top here, um, I think you're at about 1,600 feet, you'll cross the Pennine Way. So this is the Pennine Way. If you follow the Pennine Way to the south, it takes you to Kinder Scout, which is another good area for mountain hares. But on this occasion, we are off onto Bleaklow, which is to the north. And what I generally find is if you follow the Pennine Way, about a mile, mile and a half up, uh, until you get into the top of Bleaklow Head here, if you come off the Pennine Way, which runs here, either to the left or to the right. These are generally good places for mountain hares and on this occasion we're down in this area here. Right, I'm, I'm down in a gully again. Um, as you can probably see we've got a little bit of sun coming through every now and again but it's always threatening to absolutely tip it down. I've seen a couple of hares, I've had a quick go at one, it was buried really deep into the, the heather and just couldn't get a reasonable shot at it. Um, I might stick that shot up, it's not particularly good but we've just spotted another one and it's it's actually if I show you we're in a gully here there's a gully the other side and we walked across the top here and um, saw the hare but walked away from it basically because if we'd have walked towards it it would just run off so what we've done is we've come away from it and now what Leia's trying to do because it's his t her turn is to try and creep over the top of this little hillock here and um, get some shots and the hare won't know she's there so hopefully she'll be able to do that and then obviously then the next one will be my go but it's nice to actually see some up here and find them I came up about three four weeks ago and never saw a hare it was um, very snowy at the time uh, but I don't know I don't know I just could not find them at all uh, they hadn't all turned white I did see one grey one but other than that nothing uh, and that was at a distance so Hopefully we'll get some more success today. Anyway, uh, we'll crack on and see if we can find some more. Right, hello again. I'm uh, down in one of these little gullies, literally just the other side of this bank in here. I'll show you just there. There's a mountain here. So what I'm gonna have to do now is try and um, get over the top of this bank here and uh, take some shots. So. What you tend to do in this sort of um, terrain we've got here, it's basically loads of gullies between um, peat hillocks, if you like. Some of them covered in heather, some in grass. Mainly completely saturated and wet through. So when you see, generally you see a hare, it might be 100 metres ahead of you. And at that distance, it's quite happy to just sit there. Um, but one, then your task really is to try and navigate your way through all these little lanes um, of gullies, which, you know, don't run left to right and up and down, they're all over the place, twisting and turning, and then try and bring yourself out as close to the hare as possible without being seen, with only sort of one banking in front of you, which is what I've done here. So now what I'm gonna do is just gonna try and make my way over the top of here. It's gonna be a crawling job, so I'll try and take you with me and then we'll see if we can get some shots. Okay, this 
bushes are quite dry for a change. Still, probably about 20, 25, 30 meters away. Settled, so I'm going to do a little bit of filming, I think, as well, and see what happens. But there are quite a few people around with dogs, so um, we are we are a bit off the path. So hopefully that won't disturb it. But you never know; we could get a dog come racing around any second, and he'll be off. But. Does seem to be quite settled and it does show up nicely against the black peat. Um, obviously it's not ideal conditions for these at the minute. They would really like it to be nice deep snow and then um, as I find out to me cost last time I came up here you probably wouldn't see them at all. I lost the light again it looks like it's going to rain any second but hopefully Down out of the wind again. I hope the wind is not affecting the audio too much today. Um, I just thought it'd be useful, really, to show you the terrain that we've got up here on Bleaklow. As you can see, I'm down in a bit of a gully at the minute, but you've got these peat banks all around you, and there's no rhyme or reason to any direction that they go in. They're all over the place, and the the sort of routes that you come through, you know, they don't go in one particular direction. They'll start going in one direction, and they'll zip off in another. But my technique for finding the hairs is basically what I'll do is I'll be coming up these gullies, but occasionally what I'll do is I'll come to the top of one of these. And especially at, at this time of year when the, the hairs have turned white, um, but you've got no snow. Apologies for the audio, but you can often, when you get to the top of one of these, you can look sort of two, three hundred yards into the distance. You'll often see a white blob tucked underneath one of these peat bankings. That's often the case anyway. They obviously see you, but once you've seen them, if you, I mean, what I generally try and do is try and see where the, these gullies are leading to get as close to the hair as I can and then come up the other side of the banking that's across from it. And often when you do that, I mean, if you try and walk towards it and you're sort of walking over the tops and back down in the gullies, it'll, it'll be gone. Um, but if you can actually work out the pathway of the gullies and work your way towards it and then try and come up, sometimes it doesn't work because what happens is if it's a long way away, you often find that you can't remember exactly which because it all looks pretty much the same up here where it is and you'll often come up in the wrong place or too close to it but that's my technique anyway for getting as close to it as I can 
and then once you're there if you if you sort of slide up you're gonna have to do a bit of crawling um, often the hair will just stay there it'll be really relaxed and most of the time I can then reverse out of there when I've got my shots and leave the hair where it is so sometimes as I say anything if there's dogs or anybody else around they can just race off but that's my technique for up on Bleakle anyway so if you're gonna come up you know I could reckon you know that's sort of what you need to be doing if you want to get close to these uh, these mountain hairs I'm going back down can't see one from here actually so Leia's scouting around in another area so if she'll she can see any so she'll give me a shout if she sees one but I think the weather is closing in it is quite moody I think is the expression I'd use today so I'll catch hold of you in a bit now I was saying that I came up here in uh, beginning of December and we'd had some snow up here and um, I had a terrible time couldn't find any hairs at all um, but coming up here today I found them in exactly the same place as I expected to find them in December the only difference was the snow and I know what you're going to say to me oh well yeah that's because they're white and the snow's white in my mind I was being exceptionally alert trying to find these hairs what I think the problem was is because it was so difficult walking conditions and the actual path that you walked up onto here was like a meter and a half deep in snow and you could see where people had put the legs through and fallen through it was yeah, pretty hard going and you had to be very attentive on how you and where you were walking I think what that caused is when you're doing that you just lose that little bit of edge when you're looking for the hairs because you concentrate your full concentration is not there and if your full concentration is not there it's only a second and you've walked and that hair's seen you and gone or whatever and it's as if it was never there so yeah I think that was the problem in in December I think they were here but I needed to really what I should have done is confine myself to one area, got to that area and then just really, really concentrated and rather than trying to get to all different areas and thinking I can't find them. So, but yeah, it's been really good today. Um, really good to see a few hairs and uh, know that they're still up here, really. Right, I think we've lost the, the best of the light today, so I think we're gonna head back down to the car. Um, what I would say, if you're gonna come up and do this, Obviously there's only certain times of the, the year that you can do it. Um, we've come off the path and we're wandering around among all these um, peaty dune areas, should we say, and grassy areas. Obviously in the springtime you'll get a lot of nesting birds up here like curlews and golden plover. So, uh, and then in those instances you've either got to stick to a path or, or be very, very careful and know what you're doing. So this time of year is not so bad because there's only really the hares around. Uh, we've seen a couple of ravens actually, I think, just over the top of the ridge here. Um, I was hoping they were going to circle back this way, but I think they've gone into the wind that way. Uh, we're going to make our way back to the path now, then back down to the car. Hope you've enjoyed this video. As always, if you have, give it a big thumbs up. Um, really does help, help the channel grow. And um, for those who've not